welcome, welcome, welcome back to the Dining with Nadeva show. I am your hostess with the mostest, Nadeva. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please be sure to like, huh? subscribe, and hit the notification button and share because sharing is caring. But we got a quick show for y'all today, so we're just going to jump right in. So let me get right into introducing my beautiful co-host today. I have Mr. Lee to my left. Hello, Mr. Lee. So nice Hello. Hand clap for her. And then to my right, I have Miss Lisa. Welcome back, Lisa. Yes, Welcome thank you for having back. me back. Yay. Yes, Lisa's making week number two. Yep. You were fabulous last week. Thank you. Yes, really, really good. Great content. Good story, too, about oh, your friend. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. But, <laughs> y'all, we got a good topic for today. We ready for it? You ready? Bring it. All right. Are y'all ready? <laughs> I know y'all are. <laughs> All I'm right. So ready. <laughs> Today's a diva table topic with that drum roll is. Uh, there it is. Ding. All right, here we go. Women proposing to men. <laughs> is this the new way? Huh? Hmm. Huh? Huh? Women proposing to men. Is this the new way? Huh? Huh? We can't wait to be found, huh? We got to find him. Huh? Huh? I'm just saying. We're going to talk about, we're going to elaborate that a little bit more. But we got that word of the day with that, that my godmama, the least God for us. So the word for the day is reciprocity. Mm-hmm. Mm. A mutual or cooperative <laughs> interchange at the same time. <laughs> of favors or privileges, especially the exchange of rights and privileges. So my sentence using that word is, Everyone is looking for evidence of reciprocity in a relationship. I give 100%, you give 100%. Mm. Does anybody want to follow up with their sentence on using the word (laughs) reciprocity? Okay, maybe not. (laughs) You know, I always like to think fair exchange is never robbery. I give, you give, that's reciprocity. That's right. right? that's That's two good sentences. Yeah, I'm winning. I wish my divorce had some reciprocity. Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I wish I had my pearls. I would grab you them. Clutch them. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I'm going to have to think on that one. Okay. I'm going to think on that one because no I, I can go through a lot. I'm just trying to make sure that it's G rated because I can think about some yeah. other mm. reciprocities that I can think of. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, hi, guys. Yes. Welcome. You know, it's another Dee Dee's Corner. And, you know, I'm here to drop off all that new merchandise looks for you. You know, I have our classic Dining with Nadeva mug that you can get blinged and also personalized with your name or any kind of title you are, okay? Star, queen, yes, okay? And then we also have our cotton fleece sweater. Look at this, okay? Beautiful, bedazzle. It comes unbedazzled for our men viewers. We got you. Okay, and you could also put anything you want on the back. You could have it fully customized. You could put Diva on there. You could put Empress. You could put King. You know, anything you like. If we can do any customized order, all you have to do is just click the link below. But yeah, anyway, I'm gonna let you get back to this segment. And I'm out. talk about that and try to use that word in a sentence while we are talking about our table topic today which is when women proposing to men is this the new way is this the new way i know i'm sure y'all probably maybe know one or two women i don't know none but i don't um, know any yeah i don't know anything but you know what i went on a website to get a little bit of a stat and um this was from the zola.com and they just had a few bullet points that I just wanted to point out to everyone. One of them is modern couples are challenging all kinds of gender norms in the relationship. Yet only 2% of straight of women today propose to their partner. Only 2%. The majority of women think their male partners would be opposed to them proposing. But 93% of men would have said yes if mm. they were asked. That's shocking. Isn't it? That is shocking. Right. Also, most women with male partners have considered the possibility of proposing first, sharing that society and the media shaped their idea of the, quote, perfect proposal, end quote. Also, the majority of pre-engagement activities are completed together, but two-thirds of women feel like they're left waiting for their partner to make the engagement official. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. I think that's where this originated from. Yeah. Yeah. Also, too, last bullet point. Every year, more couples are reworking traditions to make their weddings feel more authentic. So, I don't know. I'm all for having an authentic wedding, but... Um, I'm not necessarily in agreement, whether it is society, the norms, the tradition, millennials, social media. I'm, I'm just not for women proposing to men. Yeah. Um, it doesn't have anything to do with gender roles. Um, and maybe it does, and maybe I'm being shallow. Um, but I would prefer to be proposed to he that findeth the wife findeth a good thing. Mm -hmm. I'm the good thing. Mm -hmm. So then come get me. Right. You know, why am I getting on my knees mm. to give you a ring mm. to ask you to choose me? That comes after the wedding. Right. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yes. I'm just saying. <laughs> You, you keep me in this car. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Every episode, I you, just got to set it up sit. for me. What am I supposed to do? Okay, well, do I'm that. just saying, like, I got nothing. I, I'm not getting on my knees um, in public. Oh, Lord. Purchasing a ring, mm -mm. asking you, will you, right, will you surrender and <laughs> give me your hand yeah, in marriage? Because you're my prize. No. I'm the prize. Right. No, I agree with you. Right. 100%. You do? Mm -hmm. I think it's chivalrous. Yeah. I think it's mm -hmm. a nice thing mm -hmm. to come and propose, to ask right. for that woman's hand, to ask her family. Yeah. Maybe not the father, but the mother. Yeah. For that or hand. the children. Or the, the children. Right? Correct. Mm -hmm. Say, mm -hmm. you I like know, that. I love your mother. I honor her. Mm -hmm. I love your daughter. I think that's a big deal. Yeah. And I, I think, think we've so. been conditioned as women um, to, to feel that we want to be chosen. 100%. Right. right. And, and because, I mean, that's, that's what I long for. And it's special. I want, right. Yeah. I want to be chosen. I, I don't necessarily agree with women um, proposing to men because, like you said in the Bible, and we're going to elaborate on that, um, but, yeah, a man has to find you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I always say a man needs to be closer to God in order to find me because that's where I'm going to be. And I always say that. I like that. that. Yeah. I do, too. And I, I, I feel like, you know, I don't know. I'm just very traditional in a lot of in a lot of ways. Listen, I don't take I don't take it away from any woman out there that knows what she wants and doesn't. I mean, because clearly, 93 percent of men already said that they would have said right. yes, which is shocking. I'm it is very that. shocking because I would think that they would feel like you. They would have been emasculated. Like, right. How That's dare exactly you what take I think. That, that from me? me. Right. Mm -hmm. You know. Right. But I dated a guy one wrong. time, and when we were discussing marriage, and he was asking me, what, what kind of ring do you want? And I said, well, you know, something decent. You know, I don't want no tiny little ring. You know, I'm a big woman. I need something mm -hmm. that's going right. to see it. He says, well, then if I'm getting you that, then you have to get me the same. In a band? In a wedding band? Yeah. Well, I don't I don't, I don't think I that's mean, bad in a right, wedding I don't band. necessarily think that that's bad or taboo. If he's saying, listen, I'm going to go out of my way. I'm going to be thoughtful mm -hmm. about making this choice because I want to get you what you want. And so when you buy me a band, can you ask me the same question and get me what I want? Don't just get the solid band mm -hmm. for $80. Can you, <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? I want, I want some bling too. Yes. Okay. I think that that's okay. He's not saying you have to give me a ring first before right. I give you a ring. Right. He's just saying, I like he my wants, style. Yes. He wants okay. Right? So I'm 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 You're kinda cool okay with that. With that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm Were just you not, not okay. okay. With that? You're not okay with that? I mean So you gonna give him the one from Walmart for thirty dollars No, but I just I would never do that. But I just think that it was a bit shallow of him for for him to even think that I would not the same thing. Well, he asked you. Yeah, he right? did. He didn't have to ask you no, you're right. what your preference was. He yeah. could just get you anything and then you'd be disappointed. But don't you do ring shopping? Don't you do ring shopping again? Well, then that's a conversation you would have. Mm -hmm. You could then say, mm -hmm. well, why don't we go ring shopping and then I can show you what I like. Okay. And you can show me what you like. Yeah. And then I think that that's That'll reciprocity. Work. All right, that's a look. Ding, oh, ding, 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 yeah. ding yeah. for okay. the reciprocity. Yeah. Of course, the educator has yes. to do this. <laughs> right? Because it's even. Uh, yeah. We're taking yeah. care to, of each to other. Yeah. And, and no that's one what it feels. is. A partnership. Right. The marriage exactly. should be a partnership right. anyway. Exactly. Yeah. So all of the phases of it should be a partnership. Yeah. yeah. Unless it's going to be a surprise. Yeah. You know, if he's surprising you, that's one thing. Yeah. Right. But 
I, I, I don't know. And I think it's also feeding into men's ego. I, I wouldn't want to do that. Oh, do, do what? what? Like, ask a man to marry me. I think no, no, like I'm not very Well, I don't care anything about the ego. You know, <laughs> hopefully you don't have someone whose head is so big it can't get through the door, and you always have to keep telling him, you got a great head, you got a great head. <laughs> you, you know? So hopefully... <laughs> you just be setting me See? up, boy. I need another <laughs> set. <laughs> There's a lot me to work up. with there. Come on oh. now. You know There's what, a look, lot look, for look. you to go... I know. As, as, as my students would say, pause. <laughs> <laughs> pause and everything. Or pause. Yeah. Yeah. Time, Time out. out. Exactly. <laughs> what does the word say, baby? <laughs> but you know what God said. Uh, God did say, it, and you pulled it out before I even said it. But I was in Proverbs, and in Proverbs eighteen twenty two, it said, "Whoso findeth a wife, findeth a good thing, and obtaineth favor of the Lord." Now, when I was doing, when I found this scripture, of course, I had to do a little di digger deeper digging. Dig it, dig, dig it a little, it's deeper. A little deeper. Okay, there you go. Come on now. Uh -huh. <laughs> you have your glasses yeah, on. Yeah, okay. you know, yeah, my brain. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I did. I wanted want to dig a little deeper, and there was a breakdown that I have found. And this is what the breakdown said. It says, let's do a little bit of Bible research right here and today. We are going to be doing a little bit of reading of several verses of Scripture. It goes on to say, for instance, in Proverbs 18.22, which is the Scripture we just read, it says, whoso findeth a wife findeth uh, uh in proverbs 31 10 says who can find a virtuous woman so in the bible it talks about when god is talking about courtships and, and and things like that it's the it's the man finding that woman right not the other way around what what can we deduce from these two scriptures it's very clear that the man is to find and the woman is to be found mm -hmm. clear and Simple. So where you at, man? I need to be found. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I need to be found. Well, looks like 30-something found it. Well, because the, the oh. I need my own ring guy didn't. No, he did not. <laughs> no, 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 no. He did not. He did not. But I, I definitely agreed. I mean, it says in the Bible, you know, when a man findeth the wife, he finds a good thing. Not when a woman finds a man, she finds a good thing. You know, I think it's important to make sure that you are available. Yeah. And... You know, thinking about our last show where it was um, make sure that your presentation mm -hmm. is on par so mm -hmm. that you can be seen not only as available, but as attractive, mm -hmm. right? That somebody would even want to pursue. But once you get to a certain stage of the relationship, I still believe um, in that tradition of and a man shall lead them. Yeah. And I, I like a strong man that can that can lead. Yeah. You know, not an Ike Turner. You, right. you know what I'm saying? I'm not looking for that. Eat that the cake, anime. Right, right. I don't want to. I don't want to eat the cake. So don't make me eat the cake. But I do want. But offer the cake. Right, right, right. Would you like buy the cake? I'll right. bring you some cake. How about that? You saying all the right things, Lisa? <laughs> and Lisa, you're engaged. I am. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Come on, men still doing it. They still asking. Hallelujah. Right. Yes. Right. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. But I mean, this was a good topic. I know it was short and sweet, but um, right to I, the point. Right. Yeah. But if you're a woman that proposed to your man, let us know how that go down. What was his reaction? If you're a woman that proposed to a man and he said no, I want to know about that too. <laughs> and to each his own. And yeah. You know, if that's something that you it's believe personal. is is right for you, then do what's right for you. We're not judging you. Yeah. It's just not something that I'm interested in doing. No, at this age. I'm good. I'm good. Find me, yeah. boo. Find me. Yeah. Um, but we got to get up out of here. We got we got stuff to do. Lisa, you coming yeah. back again? This I weekend? am. All right. Well, I'll look, come back yeah. as much as you come want. Come on. Me well, to. You're yeah. always welcome. Thank you. You're always welcome. Well, as long as the invite's open, of I'll course. be here. Of course. Of course. Well, listen, y'all need to come next week so y'all can see Lisa and Delise. You know what I'm saying? You got the Asia up in here. House, doing the merchandise don't forget check out Dee Dee's corner you know what I'm saying get your sweaters and get your get your mugs and get your masks and things of that nature and we're gonna be having a few more extras coming soon but we got to get up out of here please be sure to check us out every Wednesday at 7 o'clock on the Inspired Living Network and of course every Sunday at 8 p.m. on YouTube and of course all the audio platforms like Spotify iTunes and all that good stuff but we got guys I love when your voice goes down though, like that it does it's your range it does oh it's not sexy for me but I just like <laughs> no, she likes it. she cuts she likes to sing in tenor. <laughs> Even though she's an alto, she oh, likes to okay, go okay. really, really low. Yeah. It's yeah. like the deep, sexy. Mm. Sultry. Yeah. Sultry. Sultry. Yeah, but you don't want to hear me in the morning. I'd be like, <laughs> good morning to you. <laughs> <laughs> I said good morning. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the man? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> he gonna be like, you sure you don't want to ask me to marry you? <laughs> Did I wake up next to Paul? <laughs> Lord Jesus. Oh gosh, we need to do an episode on how do we wake up in the morning. Yeah, that would be Is it worst. okay? Yeah. <laughs> I really we just, just need to we should have a photo to match. Right. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. The Bonnie Chronicles. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I digress. It'd be the do rag chronicle for me. Um, all right, yo, we got to get up out of here. We just have too much fun. But listen, until the next time, y'all, please, 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 you better stay divine. Yeah. Ciao. Thank you once again for tuning in to the Dining with Nadiva show. Make sure to check us out on all the audio platforms like Spotify, Apple, Amazon. Tune in. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye.